And here we go. This is the next level. Now, normally, you would want to pretend to take both of your mages and Tuka. But because of the limit, you can only take one mage and Tuka. And you'll want to take Tuga over both, you know, over both mages, believe me. So, go with Erto, because she's the mage you'll be using more. The trick for this part is you'll want to gain a good foothold in the bottom left corner area where you start off and hunker down a bit. From there, you'll want to uh, just hold off the enemies as they come until eventually you can clear them all up. We'll move on from there when we get there. For now, hold out. Oh, and to make things a bit more difficult on this level, you also have to protect Carla as well as Hakuro. This is why you would want to have leveled up her defenses before. This is the only level where you have to protect her. However, this is an unusually painful level, whether you know it or not. So, yeah. It doesn't matter if David and Rice survives or not. So, don't worry if he's surrounded and pretty much screwed. He actually makes some pretty good, uh, a pretty good distraction if Carlos in trouble. And you can't get her out of the fray quickly enough. You can always just throw somebody like spendable like David and Rice in there. Um, don't make the mistake I seem to be making. Keep a little alive, trust me. If you don't, you'll regret it majorly. There we go, I'm gonna survive that. Now that we've cleared out all the enemies around here, those three will not move until I come to them. So what you want to do at this point is take advantage of your opportunity and stop and stand back and just heal. Make sure everybody is up at full health before you move on from this point. Trust me, you'll thank me for this advice later. Particularly make sure that uh, Tuka and Carla are healed. Because, yeah, Tuka is the one they'll be targeting first, Carla is the one they'll be targeting second. Uh, 
Okay. Now once everybody's up to full health, keep a, in a solid formation at the bottom of the stairs, like what I'm doing here. And have Tuka, because she has the highest health. Well, not quite the highest health, but the highest defenses. And just overall survivability. Have Tuka run up the stairs. But not all the way until you have Elulu in a good position to heal her when she comes back. And there... You will want Tuka to go up to the top of the stairs. At which point, the gate will appear, and a whole bunch more soldiers will spawn. Now you've just gotta hope she survives until the next turn, which she did, that's good. And pull her out of there as quickly as you can. Then you have everybody back up a couple steps. And you wait for the enemies to come to you. This way you don't have to fight close to the bars, because if you get too close to the bars, the archers and Suwankas, the boss, can hit you over the bars and deal a lot of damage. So you'll want to keep your distance. Fighting on the stairs themselves works reasonably well, but it's very risky, because it's up and very tricky to stay out of their range. As always, protect Elalu as best you can. I might lose your fever, and that wouldn't be good, but yeah. Don't let the people you have to keep alive die, obviously. Yes, and by the way, Tuka starts with max attack. That's part of what makes me something I can carry. And, uh, I might be in trouble. Oh, come on. Alright, take two. Like I said, this is a rather difficult level. 